Talib Kweli is a joke and a dishonest hack, but here we are at this once again for the second time that him and I are going back and forth. This time I was roped into some conversation and he said without any sort of interaction with me, you see who you are, Eric? The token Negro. These racist white boys are so effing pathetic. For those that don't know Talib Kweli, you got to understand that words like racist, Nazi, white supremacist, they don't mean anything in a literal sense when it comes from this guy. He uses those words so loosely to describe anybody that he's at odds with. But the thing I specifically responded to was the fact that he called me a token off rip. He also suggested that I'm this dude's like a tag dog, like they, I guess, used me to weaponize me against blacks, <laughs> or other blacks rather. Though the first thing he did was a Attack me, a black person. This sucker then tries to play the victim, you know what I'm saying, when he gets it dished back at him. For those that don't know, last time, and I believe I have a video on it, I offered to have a cordial debate on a platform of his choosing about statism and some of the topics that we already discussed. He still continues to dodge me, but he'll tweet for hours on end rolling into the next day because he's trying to hide behind his internet following, which is weird in itself because he has like a million followers, yet he gets less engagement than me, and I have like 26,000 followers. Russian bots. Talib Kweli is a raging hypocrite that has no desire to have an honest conversation. He would just rather slander for the most part. He claims to think it's bad to attack blacks, but he called me both an Uncle Ruckus and a token. He called other black libertarians the same as well as calling folks coons. Even mods from Black Lives Matter he went after. As long as black folks deviate from the mainstream left, going the opposite way, he takes issue with it and will call you all sorts of names. He doesn't care about the truth. He called most of my followers Trump supporters and there's a thread of over like 200 people that follow me confirming otherwise. Did he apologize? Of course not. That will take some integrity. He just kept screaming racist and Nazi through text. I'm handing this dude L's left and right and he just keeps moving the goalposts so he just repeats the same old garbage over and over even if it's a lie. Okay, so this is where it gets weird. Of course, the left libertarians that are obsessed with me jumped at this opportunity to really give this guy some sort of dirt because they'd like to see me go away. So there's this screenshot of me posting something on Facebook that has the context removed completely. It doesn't even have the full quote. Before I show y'all this, I want y'all to know that I do not counter signal. Y'all know my positions and I'm not going to spend all of my days denouncing Nazism over and over because some weak ass leftist wants me to because they are so irate that I don't foam at the mouth at racism even though I'm black. On top of that, y'all need to know that it doesn't matter what I say. It's not going to stop them from constantly sharing this to paint the narrative. This is just for y'all, so y'all understand what's going on. This is the post that Talib Kweli has tweeted probably 500 times or more. I'm not even over exaggerating. Every other tweet is him posting it saying that I accept Nazis. It says, if a Nazi doesn't use aggression on you, yes, he can be a libertarian, even by itself. It really ain't all that bad. This was a comment on a post from a year ago. The original post is talking about the performative contradictions of libertarians who use libertarianism to promote hedonism, but will then rip you apart when you don't support whatever weird stuff they are into. This stems from the fact that libertarianism is about private property rights, starting with self-ownership. It has nothing to do with your social preferences. You can be socially, let's say, ambitious or traditional and still be a libertarian. It has nothing to do with your social preference. You can do what it is you want so as long as you don't use aggression on peaceful people. So this French guy by the name of Bernard came on a post, cussing me out, and then he tried to, I guess, test my consistency on the non-aggression principle, and it was clearly bait. So he says, now let's go with your napertarian ethics. One, a Nazi can, against his personal feelings, not use aggression, according to your latest comment, since you can avoid using aggression against what you personally oppose, you are a libertarian. Does it follow that a Nazi can be a libertarian? So the things that make Nazis evil sons of bitches, he talks about hypothetically removing them. I didn't bring Nazis up. 
out of the blue. I didn't intentionally parade as if Nazis are libertarians. I specifically responded to a question, and as you see, I confirm, put a Nazi in quotes, as that wouldn't really be a Nazi as we virtually understand if you remove the aggression. And I say that not using aggression on people is the backbone of property rights, which are the backbone of libertarianism. Also in the same post, I say that fascism is not libertarianism. To suggest that I accept Nazism is preposterous when you consider posts like this. But again, it was bait from Bernard, and he even admits that he was looking for a screenshot. As you can see right here, he says that I've got my screen cap. His entire motive was centered around being dishonest. I don't care about how that makes you feel. I'm a principal man and I don't have an issue answering questions. I'm not sure what exactly a Nazi will look like if he's not using aggression, but to say that he can't exist would mean that I would have to police his thoughts and that's not what freedom is about. So as long as he or she is not using aggression or posing a credible threat, they can exist in a libertarian society. Doesn't matter if you want to worship a goat or you're a racist asshat, it's well within your rights. So as long as you stay within your rights, this does not mean that I accept it or embrace it. I may talk down on it, but if they limit it to their property, they are within their right. It doesn't matter if they are a black supremacist, a white white supremacist, a Christian, a Muslim, an agnostic. You can do what you want so as long as it doesn't aggress upon the individual and their property. I can frown upon behavior all day long and I certainly don't go around begging white folks to accept me. I've done video after video after video hammering home that point. And that's the difference between myself and Talib Kweli is that he spends so much time obsessing over white people and how they view him. I don't need white folks to validate anything. I don't need them to validate my struggle or acknowledge my struggle because I don't look to them for acceptance. That's for losers. Of course, this was explained to Talib Kweli, but who cares? He's going to keep posting the cropped photo and say I support Nazis. He's doing this right now as I'm shooting this video and he's likely gonna keep doing it every time someone brings me up to him. He knows the truth. He's been presented with it, but it won't stop him. This is why I say all the time, you're wasting your time counter signaling for leftists. It doesn't work. If they want to lump you with something, that's what they gonna do. But the nerve of Talib Kweli to suggest someone is a token as you are an advocate of statism. You're still on level one asking who will build the roads while you massage your ego always bragging about how, you know, you're an activist and you put others down that aren't doing what you are doing. You're an advocate of funding the same institution that has historically oppressed blacks in America. You have Stockholm syndrome. You also took issue with me saying that the NRA was too soft because they compromised on gun control, as I believe that all gun laws are infringements. This would mean that you support the further disarming of blacks who are victims of the same police brutality you bitching about all the time. You're even willing to support Hillary Clinton who is an evil witch and has a husband that is responsible for passing what started the mass incarceration of blacks. You'd be forced to have to defend your idiotic hypocritical positions if you got the hell off Facebook and actually discuss the topics with people that disagree with you, which you don't do because you're a fraud that don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't want people perpetuating this idea that you're a sexual predator that even when married is trying to kiss all up on your female artists and slut shaming them in the process when you get denied. Of course you don't want people talking about how much you hate the Jews so much so that you got pulled from a show in Germany of all places. But you have no, no issue perpetuating lies. Bro, you're over 40 years old. I was like, what, seven years old when you dropped that first album with Black Star? You got like a, what, $4 million worth of net worth? And you come from a family with advanced degrees, which includes your mom's who has a PhD. And I ain't mad at that. I'm a capitalist. But for you to be talking down on me being this egotistical, arrogant asshat and saying that I'm a failed musician, you're a hypocrite that doesn't care about black betterment. I just dropped my first album in the niche genre and I was what, number one on alternative new artists, check the sound scan, and number two on the Heat Seekers. I'm proud of myself and my band and I have other projects going on outside of music because you know, that's my aspiration. I don't need your validation, bro. So I'ma tell you straight like this, I'm talking to you and not only you, Talib Kweli. We can throw away all this internet stuff and have an honest conversation. Even after all of this noise you've been talking, I have no problem with being cordial with you if 
you know, you don't want to do that. You calling me all these names like pussy. Well, we can also jump in the ring for a black charity and you can voluntarily get these paws put on you because you got me by fucked up. Or whenever you're ready to stop being this fraud intellectual, you can have a battle of wits and ideas. We can have that as grown men. But it's obvious that you don't want those problems either. Frail ass dude. Thank you.